Hello guys and welcome to Rinna Battle Wrestling. I'm of course the main commentator, John Alderman, alongside Jason Todd. Oh yes, it is great to be here for yet another edition of the Battlefront, of course. Well, you say the last edition before we go on the big two-week break we're going to have. Mm-hmm. As well, Blake Elliott making his way down to the ring over the past few weeks. He has been pretty d dominant in the multi-man matches. He lost the last week, but we'll great. He's going to be getting a singles match here tonight to try and rebuild some momentum here, but right now we don't know who he's going to be going against. No, we do not know who his opponent is going to be. It'll be very interesting to find out because some trading's been happening. Well, it could be seeing his opponent being, you know, an apex person being traded over. It'll be very interesting. Like, I wonder how he's prepared for this match, having I mean, no knowledge of his opponent. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a very interesting situation here for Blake Kelly. I mean, we know what he's been able to do in the past, like we said, with those multi time -in matches. But right now, a mystery opponent. Let's see how he's going to fare here. Let's see how he fares if he can pick up a major victory. It's not bounce back from last week, so let's pick up a big time one on one. Yep. Win here tonight. As well, coming down to the ring now, former Apex star, it is Ace Angel. Wow, this is a very interesting to see if Ace Angel can get a major victory with a world battlefront debut here tonight. Defeat a man like Kelly Beyonce, show dominance, and a slip up last week. All right, Angel. Make that slip up to 10 weeks. Now, let's see if he will get a big victory here tonight. Well, I'm being told that he was traded for Aaron Wyatt. Aaron Wyatt, the man that did get that win in that multi man match last week. And let's see how Ace Angel is going to fare here tonight against Blake Elliott. Let's see if he uh, first better than the man he was uh, traded for. Because um, well, I had to go the Super Smash and Apex in the first show and that. Run a great performance, but we'll see how Ace Angel does this one. If you pick up the Gerald <laughs> Blake Bell, it will shut him down. Yeah, let's we'll see how Ace Angel is going to do it tonight. Like you said, I mean, Aaron White, he didn't have the greatest of matches on Monday. He was losing to Jay Mercer, but. I mean, they did have that handshake afterwards to see if anything comes from that. But right now, though, Ace Angel and Blake Elliott looking to go at each other here. With all that being said, Jason, who do you have in this one? Uh, difficult thing. You got two, you know, world-class athletes in them. Now, you know, they could both easily get the job done. But may give it to Ace Angel for a Who knows? Maybe he was actually more prepared for this matchup. Because now, he, you know, with the trainer, maybe he knew a few days in advance compared to Blake Elliott about this match. Yeah, well, let's see. Here is now has a big scoop slam there from Blake Elliott. Now, what is he looking to do? Trying to go after him with no big take down there from Ace Angel. And now picking him up. Uh, oh, holding the ropes once again. Hanging, oh, TDT from Ace Angel. Blake Elliott's in real trouble. And then Blake Elliott in big trouble here. Ace Angel now we're going to go after him. Big chop taking the big man off his feet yet again. But oh, now a big jab there. But Blake Elliott this time shrugging off. Now throwing him off the ropes and just running into him there. Now Blake has got the match in his control. He's just got to keep the offense, so just picks up Ace Angel for a lovely slam. Yeah, big slam there. Now Blake Elliott winding up there and then to a big DDT. And now punch right into the stomach and now just look at such gouging at the face. Aaron at it and then stomping the back of the head. Yeah, just stop it here, but look at this little Ace Angel look. trying to steal one here, too. No. I'm not able to get by here. I was able to find a way out of that sneaky cover. Now Ace Angel. Tend to be able to pay attention to him. 
and we're all telling the holograms to pay attention to him here. And now we'll get this ass Blake going up. Huge power from here. And into a huge oh. knee. Lost in the knee strike there, but look at Blake Kelly. That just shows his toughness. The, the tough Aussie man himself. And you know, it's brutal knee strike is, is immediately back up. Yeah, immediately back up, Blake Elliott. We're going to try and continue here. Has a Saints up Alabama. Slam a jammer there. Oh. An inverted variant of that move. Smashing the face into the ring as opposed to the back. Now, Blake Elliott just circling around. It's all it's now look at this one for a drop kick, but flying right over East Angel. But able to recover here. Blake Elliott trying to go after him, but East Angel now taking back control of the matchup here. Has him. Big brain buster there. And now going for the cover. No. Still one cannon. Barely a one count. No hook in the leg. But now look at this. A big power bomb. Oh, on that knee strike once again. Yes, now Ace Angel looking to try and get in here against Blake Elliott. Has him up. Big kick into the midsection. Now has Ace Angel up and oh, take down into a submission here. Does he have Blake Elliott? Well, I'm in a sleeper hole, but Blake Elliott on a mountain to find an escape. Yeah, imagine a fine escape there is oh Blake Elliott uh -oh. has him up. Can he get him up? Yes he does. <laughs> oh goodness, it drops him on the back of his head with that vertebraker. A huge vertebraker there from Blake Elliott. Blake Elliott now we're gonna try and continue to on Ace Angel. Big take down here and a continuation. But now what is Blake Elliott looking at two? Ace Angel once again trying to steal a cover. No only a one. One Blake Elliott. Skip that even quicker that time, and it's a face buster. Yeah, it's a huge face buster here. Now going for the cover. One, two, no. They said just showing he's still got life in him. He's not defeated just yet. Blake Ellis got to keep on the offense. Tyson Angel counters him. Oh, but wait a minute. Oh, look at this. Blake has him. And could Ace Angel be out of it here? Call him in a guillotine chokehold. Ace Angel's in real trouble. Is he going to tap out? But wait, wait, wait. Look at the minute. power of Ace Angel and taking him down. Takes it down for Spine Monster. They're escaping and kick it to <laughs> into the knee and hand that Shining Wizard. Two. No. Boy, <laughs> going able to kick out. Like Elliot then finding the escape from that cover for he was done for, but no shiny he's still caught gas in the tank. It's all never used to down there and a huge swing blade there from Ace Angel. Now looks like he's trying to set something up for Blake Elliot. But always oh, thinking this corner is gonna be a better one. And oh, oh wait, no. went for a punch but wasn't able to get it. Blake Elliott dodged out the way, they playing a little bit of possum. Now, I said just, just got sleep hold locked in. Is now, yeah, he has them locked in, but not able to get him here. Ace Angel once again trying to get Blake Elliott up. But no, this time Blake Kelly is sweep of the leg, taking him down here. And now you can see the exhaustion raining in on Blake Kelly here. Yeah, you can't see how exhaustion really has set in. I feel worn out. But Blake Kelly oh, hits that face buster once again. A huge face buster. Now going for the cover. Two, three, and Blake Kelly picks up the victory. Well, an impressive victory for Pike Elliott. He bounces back after last week's tough defeat. The well, defeat Ace Angel in his Battlefront debut. Yeah, defeat him in his Battlefront debut. But a big win for Blake Elliott, irregardless here. 
Huge win gets well like we said building back on that momentum before a two week break. Yeah, it does build up massive momentum. Very impressive victory for him here tonight. And well we're gonna be continuing on with women's action here as Serenity gonna be going one on one against Brooke. Very interested about the two of these two women will see who will get victory in this big singles competition. Mm -hmm. As well, coming down to the ring first, it is Serenity. Let's see if it could be Serenity to be the one to pick up victory tonight. So at one point she was looking to try to get into Contendership for the women's championship came up short in that quest. We'll stay against Brooke tonight if Serenity can pick up victory and get back onto winning ways. Yeah, we're trying to get back onto winning ways here. But I mean, we've seen what Serenity has been able to do in the past. I mean, sole survivor of the Civil War match. It's going to be interesting to see what Serenity is going to be able to do here tonight. An easy opponent, both the women in this matchup. Now, had to get the job done and now to put up a hell of a fight. Mm -hmm. As well, Serenity, though, looking ready. And we'll see if she can rebuild her way back up the rankings. I mean, she wasn't able to beat Urena Frost to get that number one contendership. But if she can get some wins, maybe even find her way back into that picture yet again. But it all started for a big win here tonight against Brooke. Yeah, can we start with that? Or will Brooke be the one to get victory tonight? As well, coming out next, it is Brooke. Across. She's looking to bounce back from defeat last week. Of course, the defeat was from a mixed tag team match. Uh, very interesting how that match ended. Mm -hmm. The way uh, she got pinned, to say the least. Yeah, it was definitely one of those confusing. Is, is that a pin? Is it not a pin? And John Farida, I mean, he was equally as confused. But the ref was not confused and did lead to the pin on Brooke. But let's see if she can rebound here tonight and get a big w singles win here. So yeah, if, as you said, if she can rebound, Australia's gonna look to you know, rebound herself to get back on the winning track. Referee gets the match underway. Yeah, let's get this match underway here. Big elbow starting off here from Brooke. And now look at this. What is Serenity looking to do? But no, wait. Big reversal here. Now what is Brooke looking to do? Has her up in a big takedown here. Right now, Brooke is in control and then just shoves Serenity away. As always now, Brooke has her up. Go for a snake eyes there. Goodness, it just smashed her face just into the corner and now just driving that knee into the face. Is now going for the cover. Is this going to be? No, only a one. Not even, actually. And no, it's Brooke getting Serenity back up. It's Got all. The leg. It has a leg lock in here, but no Serenity able to stop her. Now, what is Serenity looking to do? Oh, Serenity favoring that leg there. But now Brooke able to take advantage. Looks like she was trying to go after that leg again, but Serenity able to stop it. Oh, it's that wheelbarrow pull dog. As you see that she where was favoring that leg. Maybe Brooke has done some nasty amount of damage there, but now oh, guys are up. It's oh, oh <laughs> giving her snake eyes. Yeah, as now Brooke trying to go for something here, but Serenity looking to roll one up. No, only a one. Just a one. I'll be sure she's tough on that, but then Serenity just scrapes the boot across the head. 
He is scraping the boot, and now big face rest of there. Now, what is Serenity looking to do as Brook smartly rolling to the outside, trying to set the pace of the matchup here, but Serenity quick on that follow. Almost into the still steps both side in the corner of the actual ring. Well now into the still steps goes Brooke. Yeah, it's all big boots there. Now what is Brooke looking to do? Going after the leg. This now has her up yet again. What is Brooke looking to do? No oh, <laughs> big take down there as we're up to a seven count. As you can see, Brick is focusing on the leg of Serenity once again. She's trying to do the damage. Maybe looking for a leg submission. Maybe looking for a count out. Yeah, it looks like maybe she is, but no, she goes back out and breaks the count back to a one. It's now big DDT. Just like her to the padded floor there. It's Kicks out later once again with that spiky DDT. Yeah, huge spike DDT, but now Brooke able to take back advantage here, throwing Serenity around, and again, Brooke gonna be the one to go back inside the ring. Is she gonna break the count yet again? Yes, she is. So right now, Brooke is just kind of toying around with Serenity, but that could end up with me being a mistake and costing her. Seeing there, Serenity throws her all off. Back in the ring. Yeah, Serenity back in, and now Serenity going back out to go after Brooke. And oh, <laughs> bent knee as Brooke was trying to get back up. But look at this, though. Serenity tried to continue, but Brooke able to attack her, and this time Serenity able to take her down. And it was now. Oh. Serenity, oh no, gets stopped. Brooke she throws her off once it counts her. And then, oh, kind of into the still steps. Looks like the legs win. Yeah, we definitely looks like the legs win there. But now, Brooke breaking up the count at the five count. Now, we're going to celebrate over Serenity here. And now, kicking her off. She's trying to get up. Just a lack of respect there. And all tried to kick up the leg. Serenity finding a counter. And now, has her the shoulders. And all oh, into a knee strike. Is now. Look at that, so throwing around. Serenity going back inside. Uh, and this account, no, she's gonna follow once again. These two spent the majority of this match on the outside just fighting. This is some serious bad puppet. Oh my goodness, what a double roundhouse. We'll get back in the ring if we want to try and win by pinfall submission. Yeah, but oh, wait, that's the Brooke going after the back of Serenity. Huge strikes here. Is now just throwing her around. Now, Serenity, what is she looking to do to celebrate? What early on the outside? We're up to a six count here. So, oh, has her big takedown. Little face buster and that just. Doming away. Nine. But oh wait. Serenity back in. Brooke right behind her. As now big kicks here by Serenity in a huge sweep of the leg. Oh, but then Brooke gets a kick right to the side of the head. But Serenity's immediately up. As oh wait. That's so now is Serenity looking to do. As oh wait. No, this time Brooke able to take back control. But Serenity caught her there. Big kick. Now, what is she going to do? Going for a forearm, but Brooke able to counter. And now, Serenity countering Brooke into a huge Hurricane into a death press. The Hurricane followed by close fist punches, but Brooke now going to roll to the outside, just trying to lure. It's some Serenity outside, and it's, and it's worked. Yeah, and sir. Time to force her back in. Now, what is Serenity looking to do? Has Brooke has her locked in? Is this gonna be it for Brooke? 
As the dragon sleep a look, Danny's broken a tap. Yeah, she gonna tap, she needs to get out of this, but no serenity, let's go to hold. Damage is done. Now what is she looking to do? Double oh. super kick there. Double round us. And only oh, and hits it again! Oh. Now into the cover! One! Oh, two! Good. What? Yeah. Well, took two. Well, actually, that's the third time she's taken a double roundhouse kick. Yeah, double. Back to back kicks. Yeah, back to back double roundhouse kicks. So was able to stay in. Brooke was trying to go to the outside, but Serenity quick to forward to the outside, not allowing her to get any sort of advantage. Is now. What is Serenity looking to do? Looking for a big kick. Not able to get her. But now attacking the leg of Serenity. And throwing her into the ring there. Again, Bobby, again. Two great focus on the outside. Oh, goodness. A poison Rana. Huge poison Rana. Now, Burke just throwing her into the steps. As always now, again, throwing her on the outside, but now, what is Brooke looking to do? As we're up to a nine count. Serenity back inside, Brooke right behind her. Now throwing her off the ropes and into a big oh. boot. Now I going for the cover. Two, no, no Serenity no. kicks out. She's feeling confident. As always now, what is he looking to do? Has her up as all. Well. And it's a rainmaker! <laughs> it's the rainmaker and I can't be all over. Two, three! And Brooke picks up the victory and just laughing. Yeah, just laughing at her here. Big win for Burke. I mean, Serenity did have that match a lot of the ways, but in the end, it was Burke who took the victory there. Burke with the Olympic victory. And I bounces back to the loss last week. Mm -hmm. oh, big win for her. And coming up next, Alex Sisley going against Brandon Alexander, and we'll see if Brandon Alexander can try and get back onto his winning ways on his singles run here. Uh, you know, uh, I've got faith. Is oh, it was Sicily or is it Sicily? Uh, it's, it's, I, I've, I've been I've been corrected. I'm pretty sure it's Sicily. Alex Sicily coming out next. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm with the faith. But, uh, this man, Alex Sicily, will pick up the victory here tonight. Yeah, Alex Sicily, I mean, former king of Europe here now. Looking to try and get a huge victory here tonight. Try and move up the rankings. And, well, like we said before, maybe even trying to go for that European championship. And, well, let's see if he can't get a big win over Brandon Alexander. I mean, Brandon Alexander... As of late, he's been doing very well. His last singles match, he didn't win. But let's see if he can try and build back up and get a huge win here tonight. Hmm. We'll see, but, you know, I believe it'll be Alex Sosley here tonight. He's going to pick up the major victory. Okay. Yeah, that one step closer to I think somebody here real work and nice his hands on the European Championship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he definitely could very well indeed. We've seen what Alex Sice has been able to do in the past. And let's see if he can really can try and continue on those ways. Getting a big win. And just stack up big wins. And maybe, like we said, go after maybe even, you know, Lance Romance's European Championship. I mean, that's the match I'd love to see. As we now on Stuckle, Paul Lance Romance has been in his European Championship. Champion. Well, Alex is certainly looking ready, but 
Let's we, 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 we just forget about him. Because coming out next, representing the clergy, it is Brandon Alexander. Uh, you guys have to say to represent in the clergy for. Well, yes, because he represents the clergy. Yes, this is a single it's run. To me. He had a chance to be his own man, to be by himself doing his own thing. The clergy couldn't play the go. They, 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 they preach about this whole free will, but they didn't give him a free will. Yes, they gave him free will. I mean. No, they didn't. What do you he want? Left on his own accord, he wanted to do his own thing. And they couldn't deal with that. He basically threatened him to force him to rejoin. But tell me. Free will. But but tell me this. Did he say yes, he will join? He did say those words, but it was exactly Okay. Like that and, and free will. He, 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 no, that's not um, um, oh oh. So so if someone's setting you on fire and um they go, um, I've got a fire extinguisher. Uh, okay. Do you want me to put you out? Yes, logic yes. Is yes. Yes. That's not free will. That, that's that, just logic uh, kicking in to save your goddamn life. I mean, you could, you know, stop, drop, and roll. You're just so brainwashed. What? You can't see the clutch for what they really are. I, I, I don't know what they are. They are a cult that do not have... Even free will, they, they want to control everything. What? No. That's not them. That's not, that's not, that, that's not the clergy. That's not them. What are you talking about? That That is them 100%. Good lord. I, I can't would, see that. Would people trying to control the world make a great plate of spaghetti? This is a way to you brainwash people by what? poisoning that said spaghetti. <clears throat> Listen, just because apparently you got sick of one plate of spaghetti that I don't know how it happened, because everyone else ate it and they were perfectly fine. Yeah, see? Yeah, they're perfectly fine and brainwashed. I just, you know, I didn't, I didn't like the uh, voices in the head saying that the clergy were greater, though. I should no, 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 that was just yeah. in inner conscience. You no, know, that was speaking not my to inner you. conscience. Oh goodness! A le oh, leg drops on the back of the head, though. I mean, clergy. I mean, someone in the chat saying clergy makes good pasta, and and they're right. It's homegrown. They they you know they make it from scratch. It, it's it's just some of the best stuff here, and that's why Brandon Alexander he has the right fuel uh, to succeed, and that's why he's going to beat Alex Tyson here. It's got it right now. The pasta is tainted. We're just gonna ignore that comment. Uh, right now, though, Brent Alexander going after him here. Oh, it's not going they got stick from it. See, what? I'm not the only one. What, what are you talking about? No one, no one said that except you. No, you just don't want to listen to you know the truth that's being said in the, you know comments. Mm, we're gonna ignore that one too. Right now, Alex oh, starts. Oh, to... gonna get the chokes. I look at this in a torture. It's oh. <laughs> Oh, into a GTS. Yeah, big GTS. Now, Alex, that's me. We're going to put him away. He's going to do just that. Oh, has him up. Oh, brings him down. Face first. And now, what? Oh, what, what is this? And now, has him what? Into a submission hold here, it seems. But no, Brandon A would get himself out of it. Once like Alex Tyson with his hand swept there. Come on, Alex Tyson. You cannot let the clergy. There's one, two, no. <laughs> so, so, you know, so, someone is offering to deliver some pasta to the commentary table. Uh, they get, wait, wait, wait. Who's the pasta being made by? I, they didn't say. But Norman, if you want to go He's pick it up. delivering them. Um, Rory? Oh, yeah, the, no, 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 we can stay behind. I've seen his comments on Twitter. He's, he seems like he's willing to join a... No, 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 you keep that pastel well away from us. Don't want it. Norman, go pick it up. All right, Al Alex, now we're going to try and continue here against Brendan Alexander. Table. We'll be like, oh, no, we spilled the pastel. <clears throat> 
But now look at that big slap there from Alex Sicely there. It's always now a huge close on here from Brandon Alexander. Now Brandon taking him down on a big kick to the back. Now what is Brandon Alexander looking to do going after the arm of Alex Sicely here? Working over there. I'm coming, Alex. Sussley. You got this. And Alex, he's got this. But when when he's going against you know going against the court sheet, I mean they they have the success for victory, and that that is pretty good. You know, it, it's just it's it, it's it's a meal for champions. Yeah, no, no, that's the recipe for brainwashing. I are, are you disrespecting Italians right now? Uh, no, Italians make great dishes, but the clergy do not make great dishes. They make it's all with GTS! Oh, yes. Cover! Yes. Two! Yeah, no! It was for a split second. Alex Sisley was able to kick out anyway. And Alex Sisley was able to kick out. But, you know what I mean, it was very interesting. Like you said, he had his hand under the ropes, but before the ref even started counting, he moved it from under the ropes. And so, look at this, trying to go for a swan taunt, but caught the knees. Landing on the knees and Alex Sussley has him up. It's all. It's about. As now Alex looking to try and put away Brendan Alexander once and for all. Oh, so shit. has him. And oh, he brings it down. He's going to go for that submission hold again. A very innovative and strange submission. Yeah, he has it locked in. I don't know how he'd be about tapping out to this. I think it would have to be verbal. But no, he doesn't tap out there. But now, oh no. Yeah, for again. But no, wait. Uh, wait, wait. He catches him. Cover. Two. No, but he turns it around. Turns Two. Out. No. Slow count from the referee. What are you talking about? That was a respectable count. It's a bit slow to me, but whatever. If if if, if anything, the, the ones on Brandon Alexander might have been a little bit slow, but just just a, just no, a little no, bit. That, that that looks still with not maybe a little bit fast, but oh no! It's all oh, God head first into the ring rope. Yeah, head first into the rope. It looked like he was trying to go for a head, but he caught the forearm of Brandon Alexander instead. Now, what is Brandon looking to do? Has Alex Sisley up? Big punch, and now Brandon Alexander going up. Oh, so, no, this doesn't look good. Huge superplex there. And once I get did hurt Brandon Alexander as well, but Brandon has Alex up now, throwing him back inside the ring. Maybe he's thinking about going for a cover here. No, he wants to put him away. Come on, Alex, let's find a counter, find a counter. Oh no, has him up. Oh god, it's one knee to come kick out. Two, no, what? Ah. <sighs> Ah, oh, it's Sussy Cohen, you can do this, man. She's to kick out after the punishment. Brandon Axel so just dealt to him. Yeah, but look at these big punches here by Brandon Alexander. And the slap to boot there. Now, what is Brandon Alexander looking to do? Has the arm blocked. Oh, no. She's trying to snap it there. Yeah, he's trying to snap it, but now has him up away. Big knee into the midsection. And a rough rider there. Back of the head with the landing face first. So now, oh, oh, just rolls through there. That Yoshi tonic, and now. Yeah, now, where's Brandon Alexander? Into a cover. Two. Three and oh, Brandon no. Alexander picks up the victory. What are you, are you are you gonna say that was a fast count there? That that was a respectful count. What's that? It looked a bit fast to me, but it's whatever. I'll send it to Jeff the Ref Senior, and he he will tell you that was a respectable count. Big win for Brandon Alexander.
big one for the clergy. Yeah. Because, well, we're going to be continuing here. Big Fatal Foyer match. This match is going to be for us into Soul Survivor here. Ethan Walker, Nino Cobra, Georgie Mack, and Chase Owens. Looking to try and get a spot. I believe this is going to be the first spot for Battlefront here. Let's we'll see. You can win this one here. Get that spot into the Soul Survivor. Could it be this man? Yeah, could it be this man? Coming out first, it is Nino Cabra. See if Nino Cabra could be the one to pick up victory tonight and find himself into the self survive match as well. Battlefront's first representative is going to have three other very tough opponents to try and get through once he gets into that match. Mm -hmm. Definitely has a lot of tough opponents he has to get through. And let's see how Nino Cabo is going to be able to do. I mean, he has some success before in the past. But let's see how Nino Cabo is going to fare here tonight trying to get into Soul Survivor. A bit of tough matchup for everyone involved in this. Be this man. Will it be Nino Cabo coming to Soul Survivor? Mm -hmm. Or will it be this man coming out next? It is Georgie Mac. Yeah, it's gonna be a one half of the toys. And he's still picking up the skill to see poor tough individual. Georgie Mac headed to Soul Survivor. Meaning he gets into a match. So, Roger, individual, I feel like he'd be a tough one to eliminate. He's got a lot of power behind him. George Mac going into a prestigious match. Yeah, it's definitely going to be very interesting to see if he can get a big victory here tonight. I mean, we've seen how Georgie Mac has been able to do it in the past. But we'll see how he's going to be able to do here tonight. In a singles match, I mean, ever since we really being a part of the boys, he has been in too many singles matches, but he was used to be a knockout contender before. Yeah, that is very true. I mean, yeah, he knows how to get it done, you know, when he's not relying on a tag team partner, so we'll see how he feels tonight. Mm. As well, coming out next, it is the Punisher, Ethan Walker. Let's see if it could be the Punisher Ethan Walker who gets victories and he finds himself into the Soul Survivor. Another very tough individual who's really jumped his catwalk ever since he debuted as a part of Battlefront. You see, he'll be, you know, Battlefront's first announced representative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely be very interesting if he can make his way into that match. I mean, we saw. When he made his way into Ring of Wrestling, when he went after Elijah Riley, and he was able to get a very good win against a former Triple Crown champion like Elijah Riley. So let's see what Ethan Walker can do here tonight, trying to make his way into Soul Survivor. Soul Survivor match where the next battle will be making his way down to the ring. I mean, I feel like if, you know, this man made his way into Soul Survivor, he can definitely be very lethal in there. I mean, he's got had great ability so far, so let's see what he's going to be able to do here tonight. Or is it going to be this man, the turncoat, Chase Owens? Yeah, that's a review of Corey. We have a tag code to try to see there was a time he was a part of Apex. Then he simply turned against Apex to join Battlefront at Civil War. And then, interestingly enough, when it came to the, of course, Super Series, Hand, you know, Chisholm was struggling to pick up wins, but the moment he was representing a different company, now uh, he's able to pick up wins. Yeah, and not only that, on VWA, I mean, at Super Series, he got a win in the pre-show 
where he was able to get into a title shot going against well our, our favorite man Jacob Wells for the VWA title and he was able to win there he, he, he is the VWA champion right now no, oh, but he took it off Jacob Wells, so, you know, Chase Owens, sometimes he does good. Un un despicable you are. What? Clegg, he sucks. This man, he doesn't want to win for us, but he'll win for, you know, VWA. It's insane. You know, that bear, it's a Clegg, I mean, the Clegg are cult perverts, so... What? Yeah, worse than, you know, something worse than spooky perverts and cultist perverts. I'll have you know, they're not perverts and they're definitely not a cult. Mm, I feel like they're both, but, you know, yeah, people are entitled to their opinions, whether those opinions are brainwashed or not. As well. Chase Owens, though, on the way, looking ready here. I mean, he started his career here in Battlefront. He got drafted over to Apex very, almost very quickly. He got into a fight with Coach. He ended up leaving Apex and, like we said, made his way onto the Civil War team of Battlefront. The only one person eliminated there. Very dominant win at Civil War. But let's see if he can get a dominant win here tonight. It is elimination, I do believe, and let's see... Who's going to get the big win here? Chase and Ethan. First one's out. Being very aggressive here. And now, Georgia Mac, what is he looking to do? Big chops and punches. And another chop. Georgia Mac with big combos as Nino Carpus. And away to Vegas Evil Walker. And it's all brutal hardcore on a spike king. Chase Owens. Yeah, hardcore on a. Yeah, big hurt around there from Chase Owens. Chase trying to eliminate Georgia Max so quickly, but no, you're gonna do a lot more than that if you want to eliminate someone like Georgia Mac. Uh, Georgia Mac is one of the toughest people we have here in the Barra, so don't let, you know, the what his flamboyant sort of style, the way he carries himself for you, he is tough as they come. Yeah, definitely one of the toughest to ever. You know, Grace the Ring of Ring about Wrestling Ring a Steel he used to be of course known as the Steel City Brawler. But now look at this though. You know, trying to limit in there. But I mean he's been, you know, getting a little bit more lax when he's been with Chase Hawkins. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how he's gonna do here tonight, especially without Chase by his side. Yeah, you know, Juju probably is maybe a little bit used to sort of having somebody can roll on to get tags to and then take some of the offense. He's not got that option here tonight. Me and Tommy will be able to try and maybe avoid offense as if you know, he rocks to the outside, takes a breather. You know, we've seen many do in the past. Yeah, right now though, Georgia Mack trying to continue here on Chase Owens here. Big strikes. Now, oh, look at this though. This great combination there from Georgia oh. Mack. Nina Carver throwing Ethan Walker into the steps. Yeah, right, so steps a fight, continue fighting the outside. Chase has hit a giant suplex into George Mack. It's always now. What is Nino Copper looking to do? Making his way back inside the ring. Has him taken down. It's always now. Chase Owens going for the cover. One, no, well, one. Just one. Is Nino Copper hit it? Hard run on the outside onto Ethan Walker, and then a huge neck break as George Mack finally come back against Chase Owens. Yeah, but look at this! So big moves there from Nina Cabra. Now look at this! So big super kick. Now has George Mack up into oh. a flatliner cover. Two, no. Oh, George Mack able to kick out. Just barely there. Man, like the last millisecond. Benito Cabra looking to go up high. Throwing off that Luchador style. But oh wait, he's back up. And, oh, I don't think Nina Cabra saw him there. As Georgia Mack got back up. And now Chase Owens. Big kick there. 
Now what is he looking to do? Maybe we're gonna try to win in here, show out some high flying ability himself. But oh, look at this! Fading knee strike from Ava Walker. She catches. Tries out to look at this combination. Great combination there, but now Nina Copper is up here. Big headbutt there. Now. What is he looking to do? Maybe we can try to go for that high flying yet again. But look how far away the Walker is. Is he going to be able to hit it here? No! Oh, oh, Back oh, reversal. Oh. Chase Owens almost first eliminated. Well, I mean, the White Nino and Cabra land hits when he missed that. His own neck felt like it cracked on landing. Yeah, could very well have indeed. Right now, Georgia Mack working hard against Chase Owens. And now Ethan Walker picking up Georgia Mack there. And now we're going to start celebrating here. Yeah, but, you know, we haven't had a first elimination. Yes, so you should go back to celebrate. He's got a four pitfall truck, at least one eliminated so far. Ow. Oh, Georgie Mack. But now he's celebrating. Yeah, but oh, what a big drop kick there from Nina Cabra. Now, what is he looking to do? But now he's going to let Ethan Walker take over here against Georgia Mack. And look at this big drop kick there by Nina Cabra. Now, what is Nina looking to do? Maybe we're going to try to put away Georgia Mack. I'm sorry. He nearly made himself dizzy there. But look at this. Oh, big drop kick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get, get your hands off the ref, please. I think we tried to grab the Chase Owens, but Chase Owens is too far away, and the ref got in the way. He's got no convinced. likely stories. One, two, no Chase Owens staying alive. You thought you could see that copper. I, I, I just don't like that he put his hands on the ref. It looked unintentional to me. But right now, though, Georgie Mack. Definitely not un unintentionally attacking you know copper there. Definitely not. Let's look at Chess Owens has leave Walker caught to a German suplex. But oh what is George Matt going to do? Oh <laughs> bit near across the face of even Walker. Now how does Chase Owens up? Big side swim there. And now Look at this George Mac head on the swivel going after Ethan Walker as he was approaching now. Look at this power beam from Walker! Oh. Huge power bump, but not immediately into the cover. I say, no, it could be a mistake if they sit up power bump. But now look at this. Oh, what a niche strike. Now going for a cover. Is now he's going for it. Two. No. Georgie oh. Mac kicks out. This all oh, Nino cover. It's a big day. Big breaker chase us. He's immediately up, though. Yes, now <laughs> just throwing Georgie Mack around, throwing him on to Chase Owens there. Now going for a cover. Three and Georgie oh. Mack, the first one eliminated this time here by Ethan Walker. Now Ethan Walker going for a big kick, was not able to get him. As always, now throwing in a cover, throwing him into the corner. What does he have in mind? What has he got planned? Something big by the looks of it. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, no. oh no, this doesn't look good. No, it does. Span his fly off the top. Oh, what? And we're gonna switch Chase Owens. We're gonna do Chase Owens. We're gonna pick up the paces. That could be a mistake. No. Oh, now he should go after Ethan Walker for like in him. No, he He's wants. Gonna... Yeah, he wants to put away Nina Cobra once and for all. Oh, big kick into the midsection. Has him flatliner. Cover. One, two, three. And Nino Capra is eliminated. It is now down to Chase Owens and Ethan Walker. Which of these two is going to be the one to score victory? Be going to sell Survivor. Will it be the Punisher? Ethan Walker will it be with the tag out the spot and Chase Owens. Yeah, will it be the Spartan, Chase Owen, Spartan? 
I mean, he is wearing the wares of our sponsored Spartan Wear. But is it going to be enough to put away Ethan Walker? Both these guys have an elimination each. For right now, Ethan Walker, we're going to get the final one here. Certainly is. Oh, and just hits a big super kick right into the head. And Chase Owens was knocked out by that. Yeah, he looks to be knocked out. Here's one, two, three, and Ethan Walker picks up the victory. Impressive victory for Ethan Walker. I mean, I feel like Chase Owens made a mistake. The moment Nino Cabla hit that super Spanish fly, mm. I think he could have eliminated that man who's just won. And Chase Owens could have picked up the pieces to eliminate Nino Cabla to pick up the win. But in the end, things got away of Ethan Walker. Yeah, things go in the way of the Punisher, Ethan Walker. And you know what? It might be because he uses, you know, these pre-workouts here from FNX. They're one-stop shop for all your gym needs. The world is reopening. The gyms are reopening. You guys can get everything you need for the gym, including workout gear, pre-workouts, and all, of course, all sorts of supplements that you could need. Go to fnxfit.com and use the code RTBW to get 15% off. As well, we are now getting ready for our next matchup here. Coming out now. They are now back to two. It is Impero Italiano. Yeah, wow. Well. I think the disappointment and shock for Imperial Italiano last week and an opportunity to become tag team champions to end the reign of the prestige. And well, they had Enzo San Martino with them, but then turns out he was with the prestige. Yeah, I mean, Enzo San Martino, like you said, turning on Imperial Italiano. Imperial Italiano, I mean, Enzo Ibrahim was even with them for that long. He was in them to get them, you know, into that title match. But when the push came to shove, when the title match came, he sided with the prestige. Very, very interesting, to say the least. Very shocking. As well, coming out now, former Apex team. It is YOLO. Yeah, trade it over from Apex. Yeah, we'll see. Could YOLO pick up a major victory here tonight? You know, and while they're battle for Tabio B, they're going to get a team that isn't going to be all there. It's still going to, I feel like, be reeling from last week. It's still going to be, I don't know, feel betrayed, feel confused. And YOLO could really take advantage of that. Yeah, they can definitely take advantage of that here. And let's see if they will be able to. I mean, so far, the people getting traded, they have not been able to take full advantage of the mystery. But let's see. I mean, Yolo could definitely be a different story here. We know how they've been able to do in the past over on Apex. But let's see how they do here tonight against the Piro Tariano. So while we're about to get this match underway here, Jason, who do you have in this one? You no, know, I may have to give it to Yellow for this one. I don't think that Pierre Italiano are going to be all there. I think they're not going to be fully focused on this match. You know, they're still going to be feeling the effects from last week, the betrayal, and just the other loss of not picking up the tag titles. And I think Yellow's going to take advantage. Yeah. I think you always gonna try and take advantage here is now where this so has him up but taken down. Now what is Rumi looking to do? As I think it's Gakudo inside the ring here. And I think, uh, yeah, the the prestige are now uh, relaxing, you know, mm. in Enzo's hometown. Yep, they're over in Italy. That means during our two-week break that they will get a year-long title in Pier Italiano. Unsuccessful. King's Quest unsuccessful on Monday night. And now, Pier Italiano, they are out of country. And, well, like I said, it seems like they will get that year-long title reign. 
When well deserved for those guys. So what a big defenses they've had over the years. And well, of course, one of them was these guys here in the Piritariano. And well, so man, you know, the Piritariano is the team the prestige beat twice when it came to the titles being on the line. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the second win when the titles on the line last week, Pippen and Asterix there can see the red will enter San Martino did. In the day, prestige show that they're not only a tough tag team, they're also a very smart tag team if, you know, people say deceiving at points. Yeah, definitely could seem like they were deceiving. I mean, they're smart strategists, as you have noticed. I mean, they do whatever they can do to make sure they keep the titles. I mean, even Scott Osborne, he's semi-retired to make sure they did get a year on title reign. Now he's coming back out of retirement, starting to wrestle again. And, well, he's getting some very big victories. One of them being against our Triple Crown champion at Super Series when he was representing VWA. Yeah, the Super Series, it was... Uh... The only victory, interesting enough, the VWA was able to pick up on that night was this cause for defeating the Triple Crown champion in a two out of three falls match where uh, there was only two falls in that match here, both Scott Osborne. Yeah, it was definitely a wild scene as right now we are getting some heavy TV interference here. Big take down there though by Romero C. Now getting Nusa back into the ring. Yeah, I mean, these guys. I mean, the prestige, I mean, nope, you're all champions. Absolutely insane to see that happen. When they first originally announced that, that what their goal was, I believe it was about six months into the reign. I don't think anybody thought they were going to be able to do it. But now, the prestige, it seems like they will be able to do just that. Yeah, I mean, going on a two week break, and you mean, they're out of countries. Oh, look at that. Of a cheap shot there, but yeah, out of country, it's yeah, it looks like that yellow title rain is pretty much guaranteed. Yep, pretty much guaranteed. Here is now Rear say Now, what is he looking to do? Is always going for a big kick there, wasn't able to get him, but look at this huge kick there from Rear say Now, look at this just toying around with Ignusa. As all as now as he looking to do, but now throwing him around is Ignusa up to a six count here. Now again throwing him into the table there. Watch it oh go face first into at least get back in the ring, but all collides with his teammate. Up to an eight count. Yeah, up to an eight count here. Nine. Rear stays back in and he's back out. Breaking the counter back to a one oh. big moves there from Ryusei. Yeah, it was panicking trying to get back here. He definitely really realized the count got reset. Now, it's. No, no. It's going to see attack there. It's always now. We're going to throw big take down here. Now, what is Imperial Italiano looking to do? Has. Him up here, so big boot into the midsection oh. and a DDT from Ignusa. Did it get Romy Rusi back into the ring, back into this matchup? Piratario, oh, look at Domino right now that, you know, they're focusing on their opponents supposed to attack. It's a big impale of DDT. And a big impale of DDT going for the cover. Two. No. Broken up by Kakudo there. Yeah, but he pays for it as now. Oh, no, Ryusei, it's a kick to the gut. And oh, look at this. Ryusei able to have Roman Rusi on his shoulders oh. there, and it's a big kick. Now going for the cover. That's one, two, no. You can see Ryusei. Decides to stretch me, he's got to continue on the offense. And that's what he's going to do. Going to take him into the corner of YOLO. Yeah, take him into the corner of YOLO. Now, what is he going to do? Looks like he's trying to go up high. As always, Roman Receipt's healing there. 
Uh oh. Oh, there's a Spanish boy! Oh my god! That brutal super Spanish fly. And <laughs> Rudy's Re trying to say that he has the power here as he's going against the powerhouse. Roman Rose. Huge strikes here. There's a now the panic kick. Yeah, it was definitely smart for him to go that strikes down. I thought he was going to try and do a power game with Roman Rusey, and that was going to be stupid and fail. Yeah, but now, speaking of being stupid and failing, allowing Ignusa to get tagged back in. Ignusa rolling him up, but no, only a one count off it. Yeah, just a one count of Rusey. It's in trouble, he gets kicked in the back. Now, look at this though, huge knee strike there, big kick, and a super of the leg, great combination there from Ignusa. Now Ignusa going for the cover, one, two, three, and a Piro oh, Italiano oh, pick oh. up the victory. Uh, well, after the such disappointment of last week, Imperial Italiano bounce back and pick up life feels a much immediate win. Uh, disappointment for YOLO here tonight in their Battlefront Gate Boom. Yeah, what a bit of disappointment there, but a big win there for Imperial Italiano. But we're going to be moving on as Nikita B. Going to be going one on one against Brittany Blake. What a big matchup this is going to be. The kid again, a match against all the former women's champion. Mm hmm. As well, coming out first, it is Nikita B. And you know, this is uh, quite an opportunity for Nikita B here tonight. Going against the former women's champion. Think of the kid pick up victory here tonight. Going to get her, you know, a step closer to try and going after that championship. Mm hmm. Yeah, so we're going to try and get a step closer here. Let's see if. Nikita can get a big victory, get a big win against Brittany Blake. I mean, if she can get a big victory over the former women's champion, I'm sure she's going to be in Dom's eyes closer to going towards that woman's title. Well, you know, Nikita has a tough opponent in front of her, to say the least. Mm -hmm. As well. Speaking of that tough opponent coming out next, she is the former women's champion, Brittany Blake. Brittany Blake will have to try bounce back from you know, losing the women's championship. Can you reign across to tough loss for her? You know, Bid B now losing the championship. She wanted to try and get a rematch down the road. Victory over it. Nikita was get her a step on us to try and you know, get a rematch for Trainer for that championship. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, if Brittany Blake could get a big victory here tonight, like you said, try and move her way back into the rankings here. I mean, back to the bottom of the line. But well, let's see if she can get a big win over someone like Nikita B here tonight. Mm-hmm. And with all of that being said, Jason, who do you have in this one? No, I'm actually gonna give it to the Kita B for this one. I think she can find a way to gain victory here tonight. Of course. No rather compadres from head pitchers in charge, of course. Currently, the women's tag team champions. So, you imagine if the kid could win here tonight, rack up wins, take that championship. Well, the women's championship from your reign of first head pitchers in charge, well, certainly would be in charge. Yeah, they certainly would be in charge if they can get a big victory like that. And, well, I mean, we saw before, you know, Urena Frost, she's been getting big victories. I mean, if she has her first title defense against someone like Nikita B, especially if she keeps getting big victories, I mean, could she have a very short title reign? Who knows? Because right now, Nikita, she has been doing well recently. Let's see if she can continue out here. The big suplex there to Brittany Blake. Exploder there as 
kid has pretty play in the corner and now hanging out on the middle and off oh, the knees into the guts. Yeah, big knees into the gut here. Now what is Nikita looking to do? And that pretty boy shoves her away, but then Nikita finds a counter. Has a... And oh, just punches her to the outside. Yeah, punch her to the outside. Now is she looking into... No, thrown into the ring. Now Brittany Blake... We're trying to continue here. Oh, going for a big punch. Wasn't able to get her. Now huge slaps here. No, oh, so big slugfest here on the outside. But right now, no, Nikita on top. Yeah, she certainly is. But, oh, Brie Blackdown has to let Koi touch rag and screw takedown. Yeah, your screw take down here is now what she looking to do? Throwing Brittany Blake back inside the ring. Up to a seven count there, but now they're back inside. Nikita has Brittany Blake up. Big takedown here. As always now has her into a big Russian leg sweep. Yeah, but looking for Blake that keeps up for it, but now Nikita catches her. Oh, I spared her out oh, into her head scissors takedown. Yeah, big takedown there from Nikita. Now, Brittany Bueto able to bring it back. Huge suplex there on the outside. But all oh, what that she was going to go for a discus close on. Wasn't able to get it. But now, throwing Nikita down. Now, well, no, huge oh. close on there from Nikita. Now it's the kid who's feeling fired up. Well, no. Pretty Blake fights her after forces her back in the ring. Yes, now has her up. As, oh, big suplex there. It just flips her down and face splashed into the floor. As now, though, Pretty Blake has to kiss her, but no, Nikita kicks her away. Oh, it's a backstabber. Yeah, huge backstab here. Now, what is Nikita looking to do? Brittany Blake is up. There's all oh, huge cause one taking her to the outside. Now, what is Nikita looking to do? She's taking about it here. Uh -oh. Off the uh -oh. ropes. Oh, it's oh. <laughs> oh my god, a suicide dive. Yeah, huge. Nikita. Yeah, huge suicide dive. Now, the huge herder can run out there. From Nikita, now trying to pick up Brittany Blake here. Just has the head grabbed, and oh my gosh, just slams Brittany Blake down. Yes, now Nikita throwing Brittany Blake back inside the ring here. What is she looking for? So Brittany Blake is up. No. Planned. No, yeah. just throws it to the outside. Yeah, throws it to the outside yet again. Now what's Nikita looking to do? No, bringing her right back inside. Definitely weird strategy here coming from Nikita. Let's see if it, it is going to work out for her here. That's yeah, right. definitely interesting. It so has a wrap, but oh wait, swivel the hips, not finished. Yeah, keeps oh, it locked second. in. Oh, it's the free, it's the free amigos, and now Nikita B looking to finish it off. And Nikita, we're gonna finish this one off. Has Brittany Blake onto the shoulders here, taken oh, down. down. Two, no. Oh. Brittany Blake able to kick out. Nikita cannot believe it. No, Nikita cannot believe it. Indeed, now a big Russian leg sweep. But now, what's Nikita looking to do? Big take down there. Now. There's all big kicks here from Nikita. Oh, can you see it? Just kick him into the face. But all pretty like is fighting back as her gets the rope. But now Nikita. That's sort of up and in a counter from Brittany. Yeah, big counter there. That's Brittany Blake taking down Nikita. Now has her up yet again. 
is a slamming her down. Seven of the year of Nogi, they're just slamming the Kata down, and Brittany Blake is feeling fired up. She has to match it up, come on. It's all big close lines. And it's all big drop kick. As now, Brittany Blake going for the cover. Can she put away Nikita here? No. Pretty Blake cannot believe it, but she needs to be aware of his guards. Uh, the kids are right there, but no catches her and brings her down. Yeah, brings her down, but now going for the cover. Can this be enough to no? I cannot believe it. Now she's trying to finish things off, trying to finish the fight, end this match. It's all look at this, Brittany Blake. Oh, that could be it. Hit one, two, no, what? <laughs> My God, McKenna able to kick out. I thought it was all over. I thought Brittany Blake just got a huge victory. Yeah, but now Brittany Blake looking to go up high. Can she make the distance as she does? So she did some damage to herself, but she cleared the distance of uh, brutal moon salt. Yeah, well, it's that big knee. There's now what is Brittany looking can do is oh wait, big kip up there, but now onto the back. Absolutely into that back break and now has her up and no pretty but slips out. And I'll close on the ZTX side. Well, if yeah, this had been a self survival match, that would have been elimination. But it's not. No, not an elimination here, not tonight. But right now, though, Nikita, we're going to try and eliminate her from existence there with those big kicks to the face. But now, as Nikita looking to do, but no way, big boot into the midsection there. As now, what is Brittany Blake looking to do here? Looks like she's throwing her back inside the ring. As now, has her up here again. Look at this though, great combinations there from Brittany Blake. Big takedown now, Nikita once again rolling to the outside. Just try and catch a braver, but Brady Blake is not gonna let that happen as the arm, but no Nikita. It's a big form strike into the face and forces Brady Blake back in the ring. As now Nikita has Brittany Blake up, but no big punch there. Now is always this big kick oh. there from Brittany Blake. Now Brittany, we're gonna go up high, but Nikita going to the outside. I think she's still thinking know. about oh, going no. for it anyway. Oh. No, she, 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 she fought better of it. Yeah. So that was smart, but Nikita catches her. Again, that was just a great ring awareness filler from Nikita. Now has pretty Blake in a headlock position. Oh, it's a backbreaker. Yeah, that's a huge backbreaker there. Now a huge clothesline. Going for it again. And another one. Now what does Nikita looking to do? Big kicks here to Brittany Blake. And oh, taken down. Now Nikita. It's all like. Oh, oh. <laughs> standing moonsaults. A huge moonsault here. Now could that be all preparation to put away Brittany Blake once and for all? Has her into the bridge. One, two, three. And oh. Nikita B picks up the victory. Big time victory for Nikita B. That was the perfect. Well, bridge I pin on that perfect place. Nikita with a major victory. It's not just defeated the former women's champion. Yeah, big win for Nikita. Definitely moving herself up the rankings in Dom's eyes as well. Guys, do not forget to check out RTs at EWTs.com. Of course, you got the original with the Reading About Wrestling shirt, or you guys can go after. Of course, I believe the next one is the United States Champions t shirt. 
We have Danny Six, the Skull Breaker, that new trailer that you guys just released on Monday. You guys can check out on our YouTube or Morgan Wolf currently catering. Somehow got himself a t shirt, for, you know, great t shirt for Morgan Wolf. Great, great match, this. Mm -hmm. As well, coming out now for our main event, it is Rory Pierce. Well, you know, he, he had a bit of a disappointing few weeks ago, but then I had CEO success last so week in that big time. So he's looking to try to continue on that. Mm -hmm. Pick up a big single victory here tonight. It's not an unknown opponent. Yeah, unknown opponent here for a main event. I mean, Rory, he wasn't able to pick up the Triple Crown Championship. I know he's been down about that since then. Granted, like you said, he did get a big victory last week. Right now, though, Rory, he doesn't seem to know where he's at now in the rankings after losing that Triple Crown title shot here. So let's see what Rory has to say. Rory saying, after my loss with Troy, I have, I have Travis, sorry, I have been lost. I thought I would become the first ever true Triple Crown champion after being a tag champion, tender difficulty, and a being a United States champion, but even with Rosa by my side and winning last week, I just feel lost and maybe in need of some guidance. God, I hope, I hope Roy is making a terrible decision. And that, um, what, what, what sort of terrible decisions could be made well, well, of, of him maybe still, trying to need some guidance? Hmm? I'm sorry, this is no bad decision to be made. As oh god damn it. There we go. This this is a man that can truly give him some guidance coming down to the ring. It is Jacob Wells. Yeah, sure, guidance. Yeah, guidance here today, you know, being brainwashed. What? I'm part of a cult. What are you talking about? Uh, why do we even bother, you know, arguing this point with you, you're brainwashed too, you <laughs> clergy fanboy. Listen, just because I like the courage doesn't mean that I'm a part of some cult. There, 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 there's no cult behind the courage, like, what are you talking oh, about? It is a cult. But why don't you go well, so, making his way down to the ring, it looks like he Maybe we can maybe offer his services, offer his guidance to Rory Pierce. You, you know, I hope Rory accepts, you know? It, 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 it's something that can definitely no, boost I, his career. No, no, I hope Rory does the right thing and realizes that the country's not the right path to take. Hey, he can find success away from a group like the country. Maybe find guidance with the right kind of person. But there's no one more right than Jacob. There's a lot more that's. Well, right Jacob's out. saying, Rory, so I hear you are in need of guidance. Well, we are about to go on a two week break. Maybe you can come down to the compound and discuss matters over dinner. No, don't do it. Maybe some spaghetti. You have a recipe that will blow no. your mind. I'll set the venue, the menu, the seating. No one else will be in the room when it happens. Oh, oh sure, no one else will be in the room. Now, uh, There'll be people hidden away, and the old one will be there. What, what, what don't, you... don't fall for it, Roy. Do, don't do it. But there's nothing to fall for. And while well, Roy's saying, that sounds all nice and dandy and all, but action speaks right in the words. I won't follow you if you can beat me tonight without the help of the rest of the clergy. Man, I'd love to spend my two-week vacation at the compound. I'll bring Rosa if she doesn't have ever plans. Or I'll do whatever I want to beat you and show you I still got it. I feel bad about this, but you know what, Roy? I hope you can get the victory in tonight. Because uh, I know what the clergy is like. We see the evidence of their brainwashing ways. Th there's no evidence. And I don't want to see that happen to Roy. What, what are you talking about? Brainwash? There's, there's no brainwashing. Where? 
Where are we brainwashing somebody? I mean, come on. You ever just be there, see what the old one does to people, like send them on fire and then say, join the clergy or I'll let you burn. <laughs> Listen, have you, have you ever heard of Stout Trap and Roll? That's all I got. That's not how that works. Yes, it, 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 it's, it's a riddle of guidance. If you, if you were ever on fire, to stop, drop, and roll. Yeah, so that's really that's a really great bit of advice when you know yes. somebody's forcing or like, pushing you into that fire, and, and is you know there's no choice to stop, drop, and roll. Your only choice is you know let the brainwashing of the clergy happen. That there is no brainwashing to be happened. So I don't know what you were even talking about. Jacob Wells right now in firm control over the matchup. Has where Pierce right where he wants him. Swinging around into a huge neck breaker there. Look at the great you know leader that he is. But he, he he's not a leader though. I thought he was just, you know, the old one's bitch. Whoa. 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 I, I, I don't expect that language being thrown about the clergy. I mean, I mean, uh, it's all like I'm wrong. What, we, we all thought, you know, we all thought Jay Wells was this old leader of the clergy, and then no, it just turned out, you know, he's playing second fiddle to somebody else. Listen, I mean, yes, there's a, there's a better power behind him in, you know, Joe Blade, the old one. I mean, we, we, we know what he's been able to do, especially inside the ring. His skills are absolutely phenomenal to, to make it seem like they're being brainwashed. But then now, that, that's just that's just what you want to see. That's not what I want to see. It's what everyone sees, apart from the poor souls that are already brainwashed like you. What? I feel sorry for you. What are you talking uh, about? You, you know, once you know, Rick, Rick, Cold Tide, and then you know what happened? The clergy got in your head. No. No such thing. But now, we're here still. We're going to try and continue trying to go out to the shoulder, but Jacob was able to stop him here. Big punch, but now we're here to able to stop him. Has him up. It's into his gut buster there. Come on, boy. You can do this. You can beat a clergy. He's not, he's not facing the whole entire clergy. It's just Jacob. And, and, Far and, whatever, you can beat Jacob and you can stop this. Do I try and stop this madness? That's it. I, you know what? I, I think Rory is going to be a great addition to the compound during this two week break. I think. It's going to be absolutely insane that the amount of time that we're going to spend each with each other at the compound. I, I, I think I think Rory is in for a great, you know, great, you know, two week vacation. I hope he does bring Rosa. Oh no, no! What? But right now, though, Jacob Wells trying to get in here on Rory Pierce. Huge suplex here. So always now throwing him around, but no one oh. the steel steps. Right, the cold steel of those steps is right on the outside. It's always now what is he looking to do? Throwing him into the steps is Murray Pierce. Now has Jacob Wells up yet again, but now Jacob Wells throwing him into the steps. It's now a huge shop here, and now one right back at him. It's always now throwing him in yet again. It's all it just doesn't look good for Jacob Wells. Is now Roy just continuing to throw him around up to an eight count here. No, he's gonna break up the count. Roy Pierce going back to the outside, going after Jacob Wells. To prove that Jay Wells can be truly defeated, and that you know, the moment the clergy can be stopped, and one day we'll see, you know, the clergy ended, their reign of terror <laughs> halted and destroyed. Th there is oh, no, the there is no reign of terror. What are you talking about? They, 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 they're just great group of individuals. 
You know, one day, hopefully, my words will get through to you and you'll realize truly bad the clergy are. Well, there's nothing to get through to me. They're, they're all great, amazing people. As right now, Roy, we're going to try to continue with a big kick here onto Jacob Wells. So, it's not wait one for a drop kick. Wasn't able to get him. Big punch there. Now, what is Rory looking to do? Has Jacob Big Tate down here. Now, what is Rory Pierce looking to do? Dropping the double knees there onto Jacob Wells. Now, what is, this? What is he looking to do? Throwing him inside the ring. And now, Rory has Jacob Wells up. And oh, it's that huge DDT just spiking Jacob Wells into the ring. Go for a cover. Come on, referee. Can't miss the three. Two. No. That was a three. That was a three. That was absolutely not a three. Kicked up a code breaker. God, come on. Cover him. Let this be over. One, two, no, Jacob Wells kicks out. There's always now. Look at this though, big drop kick here, but look at this though, right back is Jacob Wells. Big take down there. Now, Jacob Wells, what is he looking to do? Big kick to the back. So is now has some huge atomic drop going for a second one oh. there. Oh, it should be a disqualification. Taking him out of balls. That's, that's just an atomic drop. We, we see these every week. And, and, and all of a sudden there should be a disqualification as right now well, just the driving the boots. Atomic drop. They go for the towel boy, but no, that was clearly low blows. I don't know what you're talking about. Jacob Wells, though, has oh, no. Rory here. Definite yeah. rope break. Yeah, that one was clearly in the rope. But Jacob oh, Wells, no. though, has him up. Huge gut buster here. And a senton to boot. Now, what is Jacob Wells looking to do? Has. As we're up as always, now huge chops and big oh, take them. Nice surprise, but look at what pays me immediately up and gets called the chop. But oh, kick it to the stomach. Yes, now Jacob Wells throwing right off the ropes. As oh, is now taking to the center of a big punch to the temple as Rory rolls to the outside trying to get some sort of breather. Being smart there. Try to get some distance. Oh, look at big counter. And a huge close on there from Jacob Wells. Now the suplex. As always, now what is he looking to do? Throwing Jacob Wells around. Rory Pierce celebrating already. Is now what is. What are we looking to do? So no. Going after him here. Just rip it, trying to rip the arm there. Oh, big punches. Well, it's an escape. There's now, look at this though, throwing it back inside the ring. As so all now is Rory looking to do. Could he finish Jacob Wells once and for all? One ends this. Stop this, man. Oh no. Big caught. Oh, it's a suplex. Yeah, huge suplex here. Now what is Jacob Wells looking to do? Has Rory up. Big oh. takedown. Now. There's no way. Was trying to go for a stomp, but wasn't able to get him. Huge suplex. I'm jabbing suplex. Both of these two 
our worn out pair exhausted. Have a match as so we've seen next to go right now. Oh, catches him into the slam. Yeah, big catch into the slam. Now, Jacob Will is going for the cover. Two. No. What? That's a kick out. No, uh, you, you get annoyed. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, spikes him with the DDT. Huge DDT. Now he's going for the cover. Two. No. Only a two. Oh, God damn it. We've got, uh, what? It's going to be a three. Are, are you getting annoyed? It should have been a three. Right now, no. Code breaker. It's another code breaker. Surely now it's over. We're going for the cover. One, two. No, Jacob oh. Wells kicks out. Damn it, boy. If you hooked the leg, it would have been over. But now, what is Rory looking to? He must be thinking, what does he need to do to put away Jacob Wells? Has him up. Side slam here. And now going at that midsection yet again. Has him up. Huge oh. suplex. Come on, rope break here. Sure, yeah, there we go. Get some justice in there. Right now, Rory picking up Jacob Woods. Here. Oh, wait, trying to go first sweep of the leg. Wasn't able to get him, though. Now, has a want in. Swing and neck breaker. Oh. Must have neck breaker there. This is one, now two, no! Oh. I got this. The sake of Roy's career. As now, Jiggle Wells has a DDT! Oh. A headlock driver. Come on, Roy, you can survive this. Yes, Kenny, no. Jacob, one, two, on, no! Yes. What? Oh, God, he kicks out. What has is still got fight? He rolls his kind of top. There's a hole. Look at that frog splash. It's a frog Into splash. the cover. Two, three, and Jacob oh. Wells picks up the victory. Right, you don't actually have to go. You don't have to do anything. Oh, are you saying that Roy isn't a man of his word? He doesn't have to be. He, that no contract was signed, so it's not officially that he actually has to go. He, oh, oh, you want to preach about you know free will? So free will states that Roy Pierce, you know, can change his mind. Well, wait. A well, before, before though we end the show, Tom saying, "Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be going on a two-week break during this time. Me and Coach will be in offices evaluating talent. Not only will join, but once Kerwin and other shows, there may be some big changes." Oh boy! Oh, yeah, I expect some big changes to happen, but who knows what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? The the local hero is coming. What the hell? Is Dom? I mean, he's just been told by Morrison saying, "What's that?" We were taken off the air by some guy calling himself the local hero. Well, I don't know who this man is, but if he does this again, not only will he never work here, but he'll get a big disappointment, Trevor, and I'll end his career. See you at Soul Survivor, Dom. What the? Um, as well, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on, dude? But well, someone is going after RGM. But that is it for the show. With that being said, just say goodbye to the fans. Goodbye, fans. And well, guys, I'm, of course, the main commentator, John Alderman. I will see you guys all this well, I'm sorry, not this Monday, but two weeks from now, it's Monday. I'll see you guys after our two-week break. See you there.